Happy Friday, Wilson County Public Library teens. I don't know about you, but I am so glad that it is almost the weekend. I'm looking at my watch and we are so, we are so close. Not that it's been a bad week, but I don't know about you guys, but it's been a very busy week um, here at the library. We've had a lot of good things going on, um, but it is always nice to have a break and to have some time just to chill out and yeah, you know, I feel like the weather person because I always talk about weather on this show, but it's supposed to be gorgeous this weekend. Um, so get outside. I need to start having a weather map behind me. Um, instead, I've got this beautiful backdrop behind me. I don't know if you noticed because pretty soon we're going to be coming up on summer reading. So stay tuned for updates about that. Um, and the theme this year is, uh, I think it's Oceans of Possibilities, um, hence the oceanic sea theme. So anyway, I'm so glad that you're joining me today on today's episode. Um, so I've noticed that, you know, a lot of the YA books that come out can be kind of heavy, um, kind of he heavy uh, themes. And, and, and while that those themes are usually incredibly important, and I am so glad to see YA books tackling the tough issues and asking the hard questions and um, and all of that, Sometimes you just kind of want a book that's fun um, and lighthearted, and those books can still put messages across that we want to hear. Um, and one of those books I'm, I'm I'm really excited to talk about today is Dumplin' um, by Julie Murphy. So this book was released, I think, in 2015. So it's been out for for about for about what seven years, I guess. Um, and um, I, I love this book. I adore it. I think um, the way it's written is so much fun and it's just, it's entertaining and it puts off a great message about, you know, body positivity and, and things like that. So um, the book is about uh, a, a self-proclaimed fat girl, um, is what she calls herself, um, Willow Dean Dixon, um, but her mom calls her Dumplin'. Um, her friends call her Will. Um, so real quick thing, her mom is a former beauty queen, um, and of course, you know, it kind of puts a lot of a lot of pressure on Dumplin' and is not, she doesn't really take her very seriously. But Dumplin's always been at home in her own skin. Um, you know, she's never felt like, you know, she's, uh, you know, any less than, I guess, or has never felt bad. And that's, I think that is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Um, she's got a best friend who is kind of an all-American beauty named Ellen. And um, so things have always kind of worked out. And um, she, she starts to take this job at a fast food restaurant and um, meets this kind of hunky ex-jock named Bo and she finds herself attracted to him and he likes her too and she's kind of surprised by that but um, she kind of starts to doubt herself with that relationship um, which is not normal for her so she decides to take back her confidence and she enters in the Miss Clover City beauty pageant which her mother won when she was a teenager along with a lot of with some of her friends who are kind of unlikely candidates for the show. And um, she's kind of showing the world that, you know, she's she can do, do and be as much as any stick-thin girl out there. And, um, you know, through all of it, she, she shocks Clover City, the town she's from, and, and she surprises herself as well. Um, another really fun thing is she's she loves Dolly Parton, um, her aunt. Um, who you hear her talk about, who is um, kind of, I, I think she had passed away, was a huge Dolly Parton fan. Um, her aunt was the one who she felt like really saw her instead of her mother. And um, so, you know, she's always singing Dolly Parton songs and quoting them. And, you know, if, and I think that's a really fun aspect of it. But, you know, there, there was a review I was writing and someone said, like, if if you were a friend of hers and like you were hearing these stories at a, a sleepover or her house, like you would be cracking up and, and clutching each other and, and laughing so hard that you couldn't breathe. Um, and so I think this book is just, 
it's it's fun it's entertaining it's funny it's um gotten a, a great message about being yourself and not selling yourself short or seeing yourself any less than because you don't meet these ideals that society kind of projects and puts forward um and i think that's incredibly important uh, nobody's perfect perfect and you know, you don't even really know what perfect is most of the time. I don't think it's a real thing. Um, so anyway, I think if you're looking for a great read um, that is going to entertain you and move you and make you laugh, um, read Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. Um, you're going to love it. Actually, and there's also a, um, a film version, I think, Maybe it's on Netflix, but uh, it stars Jennifer Aniston as Dumplin's mother, and it, I, I saw that, and it was it was really good, and um, surprised me in a great way, and maybe you'll surprise yourself in a good way with this too. So, with that being said, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the weather, enjoy the springtime, and we'll see you back here again next time on TGF. Bye, guys. Be good. <laughs>